don't worry about the miserable weather, all right? Because we've just finished Rob's Crafter. It's the biggest van in the world. It's had a great upgrade. It came in from round one at an APF 8.9, some Voce speakers, head unit. He was happy, he was really happy with the way it sounded, but he wanted to go further. So um, we've put in two W313s, two JL Audio W313s in a blow through, which you can just see, you should be, I'll show you in a second anyway. Um, Hertz Melee mid bass in the doors, Hertz Melee mid range, uh, Melee Legend tweeters, so the Melee Legend three way, an Audison 51K, an AV Quattro, uh, and a Bit One HD Virtuoso. So it's a, uh, it's a relatively big system. The Virtuoso, I believe, is the first system in the world. It was only released today um, with the version 3 software on, which I'll put a little screenshot in the corner now. Um, it's, this is wicked. This is sounding really good. Um, we knew it was going to sound good. It's a tried and tested sort of recipe of ours, but it's, it's so good. Do you want to have a look at it? So we've got the custom pillar builds, the Melee Legend 3, the Melee Legend tweeter. Same over there, slightly different kick um, and some scalpin in the pillar to sort of relieve any early reflections. Sony XAVAX, the 5550D. So he's got all his CarPlay gubbins on there. Under here we have 5.1k, the Quattro underneath it stacked with a gap so that there's no heat problems there and in there we have the Virtuoso DSP uh, fuse in and gubbins like that that's all tucked away nice in there and then through here we have you can probably see it's got the brightest light in the world down there at the moment um, you can probably see, it looks like one, but I assure you there's two. Um, <laughs> come on, where's the second one? I think you can just see the edge of the second one down there, but they're both down there anyway. Um, and then what we did was we trimmed this bulkhead and you can probably hear from my voice, any echo in my voice is uh, coming from the room right now, as in outside of the van, because that bulkhead, completely sound deadened and then trimmed in carpet, has made a massive difference to this. <coughs> we trimmed the back also. We never planned on trimming the back, but once it was sound deadened, it was ugly. So uh, that's all trimmed. And then we have the blow through there. Um, this is a sealed enclosure end panels, the removable end panels with the tie downs inside cavities in the side of the box. So uh, yeah, really nicely built sub box. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of a party behind this, it works well. <laughs> There's not really much more I can say about the system. I mean, the, the proofs in the pudding, really. I just can't wait for Rob to get here um, and uh, 
and yeah, and, and hear it. I know what he's looking for, and I know he wants that sort of power and, and output and sort of speed that a lot of amplifier power um, and big sort of cone area can do for him. So, uh, so I'm gonna put this one to bed, on to the next one. All right, this is a VW Crafter. A lot of people see the sort of vehicle, uh, not vehicle specific systems, but they see a certain vehicle and they want a, uh, a price for a system. Now to sort of the wheat from the chaff, if it were, this system with that level of kit and that amount of installation is around eight or 9,000 pound, okay? So it's not a 1500 quid thing to do. It's not a cheap thing to do, but if you're into it, then it's what you like doing and you want that sort of sound uh, that you can only get from a system like that, that's where you're at, all right? This is Rob's brand new cherished giant crafter and that's his new system. And that's Jamie. Hello. And this is Studio In Car. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stuff. It helps with the channel. It helps us to keep out putting videos. Take it easy, guys. Have a good weekend. I hope the weather gets better.